Hi, this is uh, Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW HADR tutorial part 3. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about a uh, couple of tips. Tip is regarding backup of HADR databases. The scripts that I am using are for freely uh, downloadable at db2luwacademy.blogspot.in. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution or the tip. The problem scenario is we are taking two scenarios. The scenario one is can I take offline or online backup of HADR standby database. So the tip one for that is no, it is not possible using regular backup commands excluding snapshot backups. So I don't want to discuss snapshot backups because they are a bit advanced and this tutorial tip is more like at a beginner level. I am also at a beginner. So learning DB2. So for beginners, this will be definitely useful. So including the snapshot command. So when you use the regular DB2 backup commands, yes, uh, it is not possible. Okay. So you cannot take offline online backup of HDR standby databases with regular backup commands. Uh, snapshot commands are basically at a OS level or a storage level or LVM snapshot level like that. So it works at a, at a much, uh, the scope is somewhat different than the DB2. Okay. So within DB2, like using the, simple regular commands without any integration with the uh, you know special uh, snapshot devices or anything like that uh, snapshot drivers or acs apis like that so without those functionalities i'm, I'm talking so offline online backup of hdr standby database is not possible and the se second scenario is can i take an offline online backup of hdr primary database yes it is perfectly possible you can deactivate the primary take a regular offline backup or you can just keep the primary online and take an online backup it's completely workable it's it it definitely works so and the tip two like another point that i want to tell about the tip two is if you take the backup image of your primary either offline or online uh, it is going to be at a standard role so if you look at the H hdr role CFG parameter, it is going to be standard. It's not going to be standby. It's not going to be primary. Okay. So only after restoring uh, that particular backup image, maybe in a different server or something. So after restoring that based on the actions that you do, it's going to do it. It's going to take it as a, either as a standby or it can be configured as a primary or it can be configured as to reinitialize as an auxiliary standby or you can just do the roll forward and open up for for some other uh, set of users so that's completely up to you so the tip is the primary backup image you take that and you restore the database will be still in standard database only i'll i'll show you that okay so as usual so let's get into the demonstration of the the thing okay um, demonstration part of the tutorial so here i have this one is two virtual machine one virtual machine i have ubuntu pc the, i have started the instant this will behave like my primary and i'll show you the standby also so this will be the standby uh, machine so this is another virtual box x u b u n t x ubuntu pc so i started the instance and you can see that the read on standby is also enabled so i'll just go and activate db db name hdr the database name is also hdr so don't get confused by that but Okay, so okay, so db2 pd hyphen db db name hadr hyphen hadr. Okay, so you can see that it is a standby database. Okay, so and I can even connect to this database. So connect to hadr because I have enabled read on standby. So I can connect reset. Okay, so now I'll I'll show you the primary. So I'll go and start the primary as well. So start the primary is already started. So let me activate db, db name hdr and we'll have to wait. It's a virtual machine. It's a bit slow. So we'll just have to wait patiently. Okay. Uh, db2 pd hyphen db, db name hdr hyphen hdr option. So you can see that it is primary and it is in peer state. Okay. So Let's go to the standby first. Okay. Okay. This is my standby. I'll again show you that. Okay. It got connected. It's in peer state and it is a standby. Okay. So now you just go run the backup command, right? So obviously you can, you can try online backup. It's not going to work. You can, you can try offline backup. It is not going to work. You can deactivate also. So deactivate DB, 
db name h a d r okay so i am deactivating the standby that's perfectly fine so after that also take an offline backup nope take an online backup no so simple db2 commands like regular db2 commands exception of the snapshot commands backup of standby database online or offline it's not going to work so let me stop the instance as well okay so now the standby is completely the instance is also down so i'll exit from here i'll exit from here okay let me go to the primary okay so this is my primary system so now the primary is still up and running okay so we don't have any issues with that but it will be disconnected from the standby that is fine so primary disconnected from the standby so we can take a backup obviously online backup is going to be allowed so let us just run that command backup db db name online it's as simple as that so i'll take an online backup uh, it's going to take some time it's about 400 mb so it's going to take a little bit of time there we'll have to wait it out okay so is the recording happening or it got stuck or somewhere let me check that out okay yeah the recording is still on uh, okay so the the backup uh, got created so i'll just remove that because i'm going to show so this is online backup so i'm going to sh i'm going to deactivate the primary so deactivate db db name primary database i have deactivated and the standby is also completely the instance is down so when the primary activates it cannot contact standby right so let's just now take a offline backup of hadr database and it is a primary offline backup with no standby i mean like the standby is server is down or the standby is not reachable or whatever right so it should still be possible to take an offline backup of the primary hdr database and there you go it has taken it so i'm just what i'm going to do is chmod 755 hdr star dot 001 that this is just i'm doing for my convenience okay so i can stop the primary so I, i'm going to go for an another different scenario so we have taken the backup of the hdr primary offline backup so what i'm going to do is take that and put that into like some particular shared location somewhere okay so i'm going to take that database copy that image and i'm going to put it in a shared location somewhere okay so this uh 410 mb so it's copying in the shared location and it will eventually i'll i'll open up a new machine okay completely different server and i will copy this uh image i'll restore that and i'll show you that it is a standard right it's not a standby or it's not a primary so that is what i wanted to show that is why i'm doing this okay so now we don't need the primary so we can just shut it down we don't need the standby either so we can shut down that also okay we can start a different virtual machine so this is your x ubuntu this is y ubuntu both are powered off and i'm starting a new virtual machine solid x okay this is also again a uh debian based uh, distribution so you get a lot of uh, debian ubuntu based uh, distribution so people who know the linux world know that you know even if you take one ubuntu server right there are various linux distributions available based on ubuntu so you have like 100 uh, versions of uh, same ubuntu uh, base os okay they'll do some customizations but that's more a linux thing so we'll not worry about it so as long as db2 runs we, like everything is based on the ubuntu only so we are fine with that but in an enterprise they are not going to say that so so in enterprise you have to go with supported systems only but then for a demonstration of the concept it, it's okay okay so i'm going to go with that okay i mean it's any case a supported system only it's not like a, i'm using some unsupported thing altogether so everything is a spin off they call it as a spin off of the same base okay that that's a linux world okay so that's not db2 world okay um okay so we have the system now coming up so we'll go 
and just make sure yeah we, we should be in the same same db2 level right so just same product so su hyphen db2 inst1 db2 inst1 db2 level so 11.1 express c is what i'm using so i'll start the instance so before i can do the restore i need the image so go to the file manager go to the shad location copy the hdr database copy that put it into some some place somewhere okay paste it solidx downloads it's a 410 mb file it's going to take some time in the meantime i have started the instance so db2 list db directory okay so i don't have any anything other than source so i i'm going to say now restore command db2 restore db db name h a d r uh, from slash home slash solid x slash downloads okay but before i hit that enter i need to give the permissions so i go there go to the permissions tab i give read permission on that file and i can come back and enter it's going to take some 2 or 3 minutes uh, again it's a laptop it's a virtual box it's not a powerful powerful very powerful machines just for demonstrations and tutorials so we'll have to wait that 1 or 2 minutes it is going to restore and the point of this restoration is i'm going to show you that if i do the dbcfg it's going to tell that it is a standard database it's not a standby or a primary because we have taken the primary backup and we are restoring it in a different server but then it is going to be still standard mode only only after that whatever we do based on that it can you can reinitialize as standby reintegrate it as as auxiliary standby or you can even keep set up a new set of primary uh, standby combination it's up to you okay so <clears throat> okay so is the recording happening so i don't want to miss out on that you know so okay the recording is still going on okay the restore got completed so db2 get db cfg for hdr pipe grep hyphen i hdr so you can see that it is a standard role it is not as it, it's not showing it as primary right we took a backup of that database primary Uh, online or offline it doesn't matter but it will still be in standard role the cfg parameters for the hdr parameters are configured you can you can roll forward and open up it's up to you uh, you can just null those these parameters or you can establish like you can start hdr on this uh, as a standby and reintegrate with your auxiliary standby like that so you can do all those things but that's not the point of this tutorial so this tutorial this tip is for you can take offline online backup of primary irrespective of the standby status but you cannot do that on a standby database and snapshots excluded so i'm not discussing about snapshots snapshot should be any case any case possible either on the primary or on the standby because it operates at a storage level so it's it's still possible okay so that's the tip uh, that's the information that i wanted to give so let me drop the database and stop the instance hope this information was useful to you subscribe to my channel youtube.com/db2luwacademy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye